of those who touched our lives. Respect. This game is a tribute to their enduring spirit. Every story begins at the end of another. The shaman's path is one of healing, one of guiding. Yet, how does a shaman perform his duties when he is the one in need of healing? Of guiding. Baba. Help me, Baba. I need you, Baba. Kalunga, God of Death. Hear my plea. Kalunga, God of Death. Come to me. Kalunga. Kalunga, god of death, guardian of the veil between the realm of the living and the dead. My name is Zhao, shaman of Amandla. And why, Zhao, shaman of Amandla, have you called me to the realm of the living? It is told that there are three great spirits who have denied you. And if a shaman can cross your veil, having shepherded these spirits with death in tow... Great favor by death, true wealth bestowed, I know the tale. And tell me, Kijana, what wealth is it that you seek? My Baba, a sickness plagued him. You have taken his soul, and I am here to reclaim it back. I seek my Baba's return in exchange for these spirits. But those who fail, Kalunga's grace shall know. I know what is at stake. What do you truly? All I see before me is a boy. A desperate boy with a desperate plea. I am a shaman, my father's son, wielding his masks, knowing his ways. I can do this, Kalunga. Mm -hmm. I know I can. Hmm. Words carry little weight against the strength of action. But you have spirit. This much is true. This is true. We go east. Perhaps there you may prove to me you are worthy of such a task. I will show you my worthiness. Show you the grace of the moon. You look at these statues with anguish, Nganga. What ails you? When I was young, my Baba would bring me here, to Patakatifu. We would admire these statues with fear. Oh, my Baba would tell me the tales, great tales, wondrous tales of the great spirits of this land. And every time we passed through these crossroads, I would look at them and wonder if I would ever be so lucky to be graced with their presence. Now you look at them and are reminded of the reality and challenge that befalls you. This daunting task of facing the great spirits. No. I am reminded of my Baba.
Oh, let's try that again. mask i use the mask to channel my power it is the mask of the moon baba taught me the ways graceful is the flow a harmony soaked in virtuous intent we should keep moving i am fine a gazelle that limbs will <laughs> i have seen many spirits but never so unsettled you now walk with the presence of death by your side and these spirits linger here, not ready to let go. You do them a service by performing your duties and giving them peace, Nganga. Ah, a sealed gate. No matter. There must be a key nearby. I will show you the strength of the sun. a powerful history the mask of the sun baba showed me that to wield it is to harness a most ferocious love the fiery flames of noble intentions hmm your baba taught you well not just a boy now eh only time will tell the sun the moon i must embrace the dance It is the spiritual property that resides in everyone and everything. Through your resonance as a shaman, it can accentuate your inner power. When the time is right, use this energy. Adapt it to your will. Through Ulaji Zhao, you can become stronger and faster than ever.
You move with a fury, shaman. Fury and grace. The mask of the sun and the moon. Baba would say the sun and moon never oppose one another. They labor for the same purpose. Never hold one over the other. It is a balance. Kamauhai Makifo. Finally, now to the gate. A floating griot idol. Do you feel that too? That's energy. I do. It is not a sense of apprehension or fear, only inspiration. It is calming. I want to go closer, but I'm not sure. Approach it, Zhao. Awaken its energy. Boy stood before a being he was familiar with, yet a stranger to. Now, I have seen enough. I will journey with you, shaman. This is the road to Ikakaramba, home to the great spirit of the sky. Ooh, that is our first destination. The sooner I bring you the great spirits, the sooner you return my Baba to me, yes? This will not be easy, shaman. Those before you have tried and failed. Then I will not. Come, we're making little progress standing around. Get to Ikakaramba. Get to the Great Spirit. a little tin voice. Give her a moment. Let her finish her melody. I cannot wait. Hey, move, please. Huh? I said move. Ah! So, wait! Ah! 
Okay, I wasn't expecting. What the? Come on now. Yeah, that was my bad. That was my bad. Another obstacle, another obstruction. The gates, the spirits, the girl, now this stupid bridge. Hmm, I was not expecting that. What? A shaman to be bested by a bridge. <laughs> it did not best me. It did. You are careless. Since we began, you have been so focused on reclaiming what you feel is yours that you disregard yourself, others, the very journey itself. What? That is not true. I'm doing this for my Baba. Recklessly charging with abandon, scaring a little girl, endangering her life and yours? You do this for your Baba? You wish to walk this path? Do it with respect. <laughs> that girl up by the bridge. She was calling to something in the sky. She may know of the great spirit we are seeking. Perhaps. But first, we must find a way to the surface. I know this symbol. Greatness. Greatness. Fools chase it, yet heroes are found by it. What is such a symbol doing here? I once saw my Baba paint the same symbol. It must be a way of the shaman, a challenge of some sort. Not every challenge needs a challenger. Let us continue our journey. We have much to do. No, all I have to do is get through it. Hmm. The choice... weeks of the sickness, Zhao had never left his Baba's side. think that a bridge would best me? Yes, I did. <laughs> Shows how much faith you have in me. Yes, it does.
Yoshi. Tricksters corrupted by their lingering circumstance. They have abandoned their jesting nature for spite. Do not underestimate them, though. just like the sun and moon masks. Bamba. Hmm. The tale tells us his legend. Long ago, the villages surrounding Ikakaramba were at the mercy of raging floods. It was Bamba, a young shaman, who would quell the water's rage. Bamba took a small stone, imbued it with the power of the moon, and threw the stone from the highland's peak when the waters were at their angriest. The force of his throw was so great, so fast, that it solidified the waters. It allowed the people to leave safely and migrate away from danger. Now, this shaman shrine means to imbue... <laughs> <laughs> what is funny? Uh, sorry, uh, Amber Stone? <laughs> is that really the name? These are the stories of your ancestors. He gave of himself, and the people here reveled in his sacrifices. I mean, for throwing a stone. <laughs> he got a shrine for that. His experiences are embedded in the masks you carry. Use these teachings well.
all shamans get shines? No. The actions of the Nganga dictate who does and who does not. Hmm. What is around? My Baba will have a shrine, as will I. When I bring him back, they will tell our tale, our Hidithi. I will show you. Focus on the now, Zhao. I am focusing. I know what to do. Return to the surface and seek out this Ikakarambangar.
thought you were la I thought that was you laughing at first. <laughs> well, I think I'm gonna go ahead and stick a pin in it here, but I like it. I enjoy it. Not I'm not really a platforming person, but I like the story and I like the lore. But you know, it's 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 pretty cool. It's pretty cool. All right.